All right, coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury. All right, so here he is, Tyson Fury, the king of the gypsies, the king of the heavyweights. You can argue no man in the sweet science has more steam than Tyson Fury right now. So much so that he's crossing over into the UFC to prove that he is not just an elite boxer. We've seen the videos of him training with the gorilla Darren Till. Don't want to read too much into that footage. But big picture, Fury believes he can not just fight the UFC, but can actually contend. He is as confident as anyone in combat sports and doesn't figure to be phased by the big show atmosphere here tonight. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight, standing six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clean. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. 
All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. How good is that right here? Ganu gets caught with that punch. Oh, up a front land. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. And now he lands a combination. Continues to hurt connects there. Yuri's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis Ngannou. And Ngannou gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, the uppercut is clean. to the head, blocked though by Francis Ngannou. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ten seconds now in round one. Five minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. Feet now. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Blocks the shot. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. His lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He wiped him out! Well, he 
Everybody's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.